Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech. In this video, we're going to be discussing Notion. I'm personally a big fan of the app or the platform, and I'm going to share with you a simple trick to let you draw inside a Notion page. So let's begin with it right now. First, let's acknowledge that Notion itself doesn't offer much in terms of drawing features. This can be a bit limiting if you're looking to create sketches or handwritten notes directly in your Notion pages. However, there's a practical solution that involves using an external tool called Whiteboard. It's important to note that Whiteboard is spelled without the T, so it's Whiteboard without T. Anyway, Whiteboard is an online whiteboard tool that allows you to draw and sketch freely. To use it with Notion, you can go to the Whiteboard website on your iPad. Once you're there, you can start drawing using your Apple Pencil. The interface is straightforward and user-friendly, making it easy to create your drawings quickly. After you've created your drawing on Whiteboard, you can embed it into your Notion page. To do this, copy the link to your Whiteboard drawing and paste it into your Notion document. Notion will automatically recognize the link and embed the Whiteboard canvas directly into your page. This way, you can access and view your drawing within Notion without needing to switch between different apps. Another advantage of using Whiteboard is that you can set it up on a computer first if you prefer. This means you can prepare your Whiteboard on a larger screen and then continue working on it using your iPad later. This flexibility can be particularly useful if you're collaborating with others or need to make detailed adjustments. In summary, while Notion doesn't have built-in drawing capabilities, using a tool like Whiteboard provides a seamless workaround. By embedding your whiteboard drawings into Notion, you can enjoy the best of both worlds, the organizational power of Notion and the creative freedom of a whiteboard tool. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tricks. See you guys later.